Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's Gary McCready from HVAC Know It All. So technology changes rapidly in the trade of HVAC and refrigeration. What we're gonna do is take you onto a couple of job sites real quick to show you how this technology is advancing and how we're utilizing it to heat and cool buildings. First site we're gonna tackle, I was invited onto by Armstrong Fluid Technology and Heart Pump. They were doing a bunch of pump retrofits. And I go through some of the technology and how it's utilized on the site with Manny from Armstrong and he explains a bunch of stuff as I ask questions. What's up guys? So Armstrong and Heart Pump has invited me onto one of their job sites. We have a bunch of retrofit work going on here, a bunch of pumps being changed. And what we're gonna do is go through some of the startup procedure on these generation five design envelope pumps. Here's one of the old pumps that are being removed today as well because the job is not done. There's a bunch installed already. This one is coming out as we currently speak. So what's interesting about these Gen 5 pumps is they come with a connectivity kit that allows the pump to be connected to the internet for monitoring purposes. So this particular kit here, this will be good for all the pumps on site. How many pumps can this manage? Six. Six, six, yeah. six pumps? Yeah. So Perfect. You, technically you can go up to eight, but whenever you go more higher, so obviously your transmitting process will be slow. Can you explain the purpose of the flush line, Manny, if you don't mind? The, the flush line, basically, flush line is uh, for our mechanical seal. Create a liquid foam between the stationary seal and the mechanical rotating assembly, so it cool down the seal. So there's no water, no liquid. So what happened after this over temperature or grinding, so that your seal could be damaged. So this clamp here, Manny, yeah. can you explain the purpose of that? Because I don't see any bolts down there. Yeah. So that clamp is to the clamp, the in clamp place is, of bolts, kind of? Yeah, in yeah. So in, in our our Gen 5 pumps, this is our magnetic pumps. So we don't use bolts, we are using clamp. Okay? So that makes it much easier to pull. Much, much easier, yeah. To, so this is our bolt. This is a pump adapter. So both are connected with the clamp and inside there's an o-ring. So whenever you come for the servicing, just lose this, this nut. Your clamp is loose, just lift the clamp up and your pump can kind of come out. So this is the pump vibration and you would get alerts if the pump vibration was over a certain frequency. Is that how it works? Yes. Okay. Now what sort of frequency is it that you're starting to alarm or send out warnings or, or faults? Yeah, if, if for example, if your bearing is, bearing is not in a good shape or your system is over pumping off the curve or your alignment is if your alignment is a misaligned so that can, if you you pump has a little bit of vibration so everything is recording in here so if we have a, some numbers so if it, it crossed those numbers so that we will notify to the customers and we can see all our information here our flow because my design is one our head our speed our power voltage and our current that is that's pretty cool you can see all the pump information right here yeah. that, that's important to the contractor that's working on it before i get back to this call i want to bring you a quick message if you guys are considering going out on your own in refrigeration and hvac i mean consider using jobber as your crm it's the tool that i'm using to build my business up anywhere from quoting to invoicing to scheduling it just keeps everything organized and under one umbrella so there's a link in the summary of this video guys if you want to check it out Man, if you're an HVAC nerd, you are gonna truly love this site I'm about to show you. It's wicked cool, check it Actually out. Actually, a, uh, a project that uses geothermal energy or ground source heat pumps. Yep. Multi-residential building, about 130,000 square feet. Used to be in-suite electric resistance heating only, and it's been converted to a ground source heat pumps. And we have in-suite water and air heat pumps that do heating and cooling. And in the parking lot here, we have a geothermal bore field, about 115 boreholes drilled to 850 feet deep, with about half of them actually being angle drilled. So Adam, why was it angle drilled? Yeah, I was gonna ask that question. So why do we angle drill the boreholes rather than just go straight down? We need to get a lot more geo into a much smaller space. So effectively on this site, we we're able to get those 115 holes into a footprint that required about 70% less area at grade. Each branch, one off the supply manifold, one off the return manifold, make up a header. So it requires two of those to make a header. Each header is piped in reverse return and it's collecting boreholes in parallel, typically 10 to 15 holes per header. And then we have Armstrong 
balancing valves here on the supply side. These are the geothermal pumps, DE pumps with the sensorless technology. Each individual suite has its own heat pump and this fluid is going to each one of those. It's fluid correct to the, the multiple risers in the building. We're maintaining that pressure within the system. Perfect.